Hello, Marcus Lim here, and today I'd just like to give you a glimpse into this book, Star Trek, the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701 and 1701A. So, uh, obviously, the Enterprise is the ship that is, you know, synonymous with Star Trek, I guess. You know, think Star Trek and then you think Enterprise, and to the point where there was a TV series, Star Trek Enterprise, um, just because it's so well known, okay. Um, but in this book is talking about uh, specifically Captain Kirk's uh, Enterprise, as you can see, detailed guide to Captain Kirk's ship uh, from the TV series, which is 1701, and the movies 1701A, okay. And um, yeah, so this is like an illustrated handbook, and at the back it says. It's a illustrated guide to the Constitution class and it's 1701 and 1701A. Um, interestingly, it's not just Captain Kirk's ship. Before Kirk, there was Pike. Okay, and uh, this so this guide traces history, everything, illustrations, a lot of stuff, main bridge, crew quarters, uh, um, you know, uh, technical information, illustrations, all that stuff. And I should mention at this point that a lot of this uh, material is actually taken from a very old publication now called the uh, Star Trek Tech Files, as you can see. Um, it was like late 90s. I think if you collected every single fact file, like you would probably uh, have collected almost 20 binders worth. So this is just one binder that I've got. Uh, you can see, for instance, on to you know, each of these fact files has different sections um, and this one in particular USS Enterprise 1701 so you know so this book definitely took uh, the material from from uh, from here uh, for instance let's see file 20 right and CC 1701 so you know there's a lot of material here um, but yeah, as you can see, there's just too much stuff in this fact, uh, you know, fact files. Like if you wanted to dig through everything related to the enterprise, it will take you a while. So that's why this book is, uh, you know, it's good to have. Get all the enterprise stuff only in one volume. And there's also new stuff, which are not in the fact files. I believe there's also the Star Trek Discovery uh, Enterprise, which I will show you. That's pretty exciting. So that's Captain Peck's era before Kirk. Um, so that's definitely new material. Okay. All right. So first of all, there's a dust jacket, which if I remove. Um, it just has a kind of like pretty classy Star Trek uh, kind of bit and boast like that. All right. Okay. So let's have a look. So you can see all the ships. The one seven zero one, one seven zero one A. I think that might be the the Pike one. Yeah. Okay. So. Table of contents, um, you know, 1701, 1701, 1701, and then the refit, and then the 1701A, okay. Got some acknowledgements. Um, it says, um, here you see, new version that appeared in Star Trek Discovery. So that's new material, okay? And like I said just now, the, most of the material in this book originally appeared in the Star Trek fact files, okay? And new material from Star Trek Discovery. Yep, so it's a mix of uh, old stuff, new stuff. Uh, let's see, so this is history. 
Okay, operational history. So I'm gonna go through this very quickly. U.S. Enterprise one seven o one. Okay. Half the equipment you can see, wealth of material. So this, this is actually 2257. This is from Star Trek Discovery. Captain Pike. Uh, so you can see it looks way more modern, right? Huh. Even though it's supposed to be. Uh, see, there you go. Ensign Mount is Captain Christopher Pike. Yeah, so obviously, yes. It's a modern TV show, but it's supposed to take place before Kirk's era, which is this one. But yeah, you know, it's cool that they managed to sort of give it that retro look. Annotated exterior views, so ventral views, so all different views, front, back, side, you know. Main bridge, captain's chair, helm and navigation, science station, wind change stations, engineering. That's a lot of material here. Minge engineering, potion, impulse, sensors, deflectors. So this is all from the uh, original series, the 60s series. Okay. The chest. Yeah, pretty much. Every little detail that you can imagine, it's all covered. Okay, very comprehensive. Including uniforms as well. And now we come to the refit, which is from the motion picture, I think. Yeah, motion picture. The first Star Trek movie. Okay. <coughs> So this would be 1979, 1980-ish. Um, Alright, so this is... Okay, yeah, it's... Refit. So I think... So when do we actually get to... Um, yeah, the A. So here's the A. I think the A probably comes in right after Star Trek 3 maybe, because Star Trek 3 was when the Enterprise was destroyed, and then I think at the end of Star Trek 4, we see the uh, Enterprise 1701A come into picture. Okay, so here's the uniforms, and that's it. And so we've got an index. Um, okay, <coughs> so also available. So that was the the uh, Picard Enterprise, the 1701B. If I find, if I manage to get a copy, I'll definitely get it. But um, but at the moment this is the only one I have, and if they I think they are coming up with a Voyager one as well, and also a Deep Space Nine one, I'll definitely get those when they do come out. But uh, for now, I would say for me, you know, Captain Kirk's Enterprise. That's definitely the original one, right? The first and the original and uh, yeah it's definitely a book that if you're a Star Trek fan and you definitely will also be an Enterprise fan so definitely uh, check this out so that's my look at this book illustrated handbook of USS Enterprise NCC 1701 so thanks for watching I'll see you next time